In this little video, we're going to talk about how to collect references from an important literature review. We'll look at getting the bibliography, going to the periodicals A to Z tool, getting the bibliographic information, getting the full text, and of course, as always, checking the APA format. So this time I'm going to actually start in EndNote. Here's my EndNote, and I already know that this particular article is a really important literature review for my study. So what I'm going to do is right click on here, go to File Attachments, and Open File, because I downloaded this and added it before, and now it's come up in Acrobat, and I'm going to scroll way down to the end until I can find, let me go down a little farther, here's the literature review, the bibliography section. Now in this um, little tutorial I want to show you how to find journal articles using the periodicals to, periodicals to A to Z tool at the Andrews site. So some of these first ones you'll see they're from web pages or conference proceedings. These are a little harder to find generally. Google can help you with those. But I want to go down to, let's see, this one here a little bit farther down. Whoops. See if I can even show you this. And here it is right here. This one here, it's from the Educational Technology Research and Development Journal. So now that I know this is the one I want to find, and when I did this before, I was just basically Googling or checking this site for each one. So I want to show you one that I know for sure is in the periodicals A to Z. So now that I've figured out which one I'm searching for, let me minimize. We're going to go over to the Andrews Library web page and use the Periodicals A to Z tool. So here I am, andrews.edu slash library. I'm going to find articles this time. It's a little bit different than before. And you'll see this link right here that says Periodicals A to Z. And this is just great for finding things when you already know the journal. So let me go back now. I've got to look at this several times to figure out where I'm going. The journal is called Educational Technology Research and Development. So I'm going to start by putting in the journal name, Educational Technology. I'm going to put in just a piece of it. And it found four different ones. And this is the one I want here, Educational Technology Research and Development. And you'll see there are several databases that have it. You want to definitely pay attention to these dates because, again, OK, let's see. When was this article published? Let me bring it back up. It was published in 2000. So if I go back to Internet Explorer, I need to see when which of these would have 2000. looks like all of them do in this case. I don't want the print holdings because I don't want to have to go to the library and get it. I want a PDF. So I've showed, shown you Wilson Select already. You know how that works. I'm going to choose Springer because um, I want, it's a little bit different than what you've seen in these tutorials. So it opens another window. says one moment, please, and probably would ask you for a password. Um, my way of showing you that was a little too slow, although it looks like this is going to be slow too. Here we go. Here it comes in. And it's likely that as you move around in here, you'll have to keep putting in your Andrews password. Or you might be able to get your browser to remember it, like I've done. OK, so here's the journal. And I can see it. And now it's listing all the different volumes. So I need to go back to my PDF file of this article and see, OK, when was it? It's volume 48, issue 1. So I'm going to minimize this and go back to Internet Explorer. Now I'm looking for volume 48. And right here is this nice little pull-down menu. This is where you really have to hunt around on the screen. Honestly, this this um, periodicals A to Z is like a goose chase. <laughs> You're just hunting all over trying to find these articles. But of course, we want to read them, so it's worth the chase. OK, here's volume 48, and it was in number 1. So I'm going to click that, and now I am getting another page that has this particular journal, and I'm looking for the article specifically that I referenced. Here it is, Promoting Pro 
multicultural understanding. Here's my authors, page numbers, and here's my PDF. So in this case, I'm going to get actually, you know what, let me click on this first. I want to get the EndNote information as well as the full text PDF. So here's my PDF again. I'm, and uh, let me go back to my PowerPoint to remember what order I'm supposed to do this in. <laughs> I'm trying to lead you down a similar path for each one. Okay, so we're going to do the bibliographic information first. And that, in this case, is right here on the side, export this article. All right, and I want to export this one as RIS. There are two different formats here. From playing around with it, I know that RIS is the one that will come into EndNote. So I'm going to click on that. It's very similar to before. It says, do you want to open or save this? And EndNote says, oh yeah, I know what that is. So it pops up. I'm going to pick which file it goes into. And here I am in EndNote, and it has loaded in this bibliographic entry. And it looks like it's right even magically. All right, so now that I have gotten my bibliographic information added into EndNote, I want to get the full text. So I'm going back to the Internet Explorer where I just exported, and if I just look around on the page, I can find this PDF, which is my full text. And we'll do this just like we did before, except my Acrobat Reader is acting up and it's downloading it. I'm going to actually cancel because I've gotten this one before, so we'll just skip that step. You've seen it in the other tutorials. But let me show you um, attaching it in EndNote. So I've gotten this one already, so I know that it's here. So I'm going to right-click on my EndNote option again on, on this reference in EndNote, and I'm going to choose File Attachments, Attach File. I'm going into my full text, and I'm looking for if you in days, here it is right here, 2000, promoting multi multicultural. And I'm going to click open. And now you can see I've got this attached file, so I've gotten my full text down. All right, so the last thing I need to do is check my APA format. And in this case, I seem to be in luck because we have the author, the date, all this is lowercase. I've got my journal and which volume and issue it's from as well as the page numbers. Alright, so that is periodicals A to Z. One of the things that's challenging is figuring out which of those, um, let me bring this journal list back again, which of these to use. I've spent a lot of time hunting around trying to figure out should I get it from here, from here, and um, it's a little bit of a goose chase, but the more you do this, the easier it will be. And again, you're going to use this when you already know the name of the journal and the article that you want to get, but you need to be able to find it and you don't know which database has it. That's the reason to use period periodicals A to Z.